when, when she did get the diagnosis of you know the how long it was short weeks really it, it's quite hard when you, you transition to be from a, from a husband to a carer and it, it takes up a lot of nervous energy uh, as well as physical energy and I'm working from time I, I just burn out completely it's so much more painful the more you love someone if you've had the support from from caring together like I ever had then you you can help other carers who may go through a similar thing if it makes someone's life easier as a carer consider donations to to um, caring together as we redrafted our wills in 2018 we put in place a framework for giving to charities and, and caring together was an obvious choice as one of the charities that we wanted to support i wanted to choose a charity that was doing important work uh, that was doing it well and where our support would make a difference I've received quite a lot of support from Caring Together. Um, initially, I was getting the magazine, which gave me all sorts of tips. After that, I had people sitting in with Dave when I needed to go out so that he wasn't on his own, he wasn't anxious. And if he needed some help with going to the toilet, getting a drink, whatever, they were there for him. So I couldn't recommend Caring Together more. I like the idea of legacies because you can give back something for which you have had a benefit and a legacy is a brilliant way to do it. And so the fact that it's easy to do, these days you can do it by sitting down and talking to somebody, you can do it online, but it's important to just do it.